Welcome back, everyone, to another edition of Rudy's Rants from Come On Now, the podcast. I'm your host, Rudy Rodriguez Shoma, and I got another rant for you today. I've been a little bit under the weather um, the last couple of days. I kind of threw out my back, and so just sitting here right now hurts. <laughs> the things that happen as you get older, when you just turn your body. You didn't, I didn't even do anything. I just turned. I just turned. And my, le- my lower left back area just completely went, Gah! and I hit the ground. But um, that's why I didn't, make, I didn't do these videos yet. This video yesterday and a couple of others that I wanted to do because I just couldn't move. This actually happened on Sunday. Today's Tuesday now. So it's been a couple of days of, of intense pain. Nonetheless, I'm here to do a rant on the U.S. Olympic team game versus um, Serbia. Great performance. Great performance. That's how they should play. They should play like they care. But I'm not here to talk about that because that's not a rant. That's just praise. And we know what rants are about. Rants aren't about praise. Rants are about things that make you say, uh. <sighs> Jason Tatum. And I know this isn't a thing that people want to talk about or, or people want to think that shouldn't be talked about. But Jason Tatum, first team all NBA. First team All NBA. Let's 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 let's, talk, let's think about that for a second. First team All NBA. First team All NBA for three actually for three straight years. First team All NBA. So he's regarded by the media as a top five player. I don't think he's a top five player in the league. I'm completely transparent. I don't think he is. I think he's a borderline ten. He's a bordering top 10 player, maybe even just below that. But three straight years, first team NBA, NBA. And this man is benched. Coach's decision. You've got to be kidding me. Like, you've got to be kidding me. You, you can't. You cannot. Steve Kerr at the end of the game says he feels like a fool. You embarrass that man. Like, you embarrassed him. And what made it worse is you embarrassed him playing a guy who was, like, the fourth best player on his actual team in Boston and Derek White. How is Derek White getting time while while Jason Tatum is sitting the bench? This is a positionless game. These guys aren't playing positions. Jason Tatum can run the point. Jason Tatum can play the wing. Jason Tatum can play the post. Jason, Jason Tatum can play anywhere on the floor, anywhere on the floor. And what does Steve Kerr do? He doesn't play him. And then he says at the end of the game that we, you know, we have a rotation or it's game to game. Bro, you won by 26. You won by 26. 26. This was a double digit game in the fourth quarter. What are you doing? It's an embarrassment. I mean, also Tyrese Halliburton doesn't play. It's amazing how the the women coach managed to play all 12 of her players. I'm not saying I'm playing 20 minutes a game. And I'm not sitting here saying that he needs to play the whole game or anything like that. But you, the, the fact of the matter is you bench two all NBA players in this game that you won by a lot. Like, what are we doing here? This is crazy. I mean, this isn't a... These guys did not accept an invitation to be on this team to be embarrassed publicly. And that's an embarrassment. I don't care what Tatum says. I don't care what Halliburton says. But Tatum primarily, because Tatum is the guy who's been three-time All-NBA in three straight years. He's the guy that... Uh, up until June was supposedly the best player for the Celtics, but we found that maybe he's not. Um, but the fact of the matter is, you know, I think Jalen Brown's the best player on the Celtics. I've always said that. I, I stand fast. I stand, I stand on that podium. I still think he's the best player on that team. But Tatum's a great player. And you're going to sit here, and this man's going to be sitting on the damn bench in a 26-point game? You tell me that Tatum's that bad? That he can't play five minutes in the second quarter? Like, I, I, like, what are we doing here? This is insanity. And 
And I saw a thing from Kendrick Perkins where he said, that just can't happen. And I agree with him. It cannot happen. It's an embarrassment. It cannot happen. It, it, it can't happen at all. You have to play these guys. All these guys have got to play. Otherwise, why are they there? I understand Kevin Durant came back. And Kevin Durant well, is, 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 a, is a better player. He's a better player. And, and he has the, the – I'm sorry to hear about the Olympic experience. I'm tired of hearing about the Olympic experience. It doesn't matter to me. But Durant's the better player, in my opinion. However, you're not going to sit here and tell me that Jason Tatum is playing behind Drew Holiday, who's also a teammate. Drew Holiday, who's the, the fifth, the fourth. Oh shit. Drew Holiday is playing ahead of him. Drew Holiday and Derek White, two teammates, are playing ahead of him on the Olympic team. you got to be kidding me. It, it just that just cannot happen. That, that just can't happen. So the fact that they sat him and Steve Kirk, uh, Steve Kirk, I don't even know he's coaching his team. The coach should be the coach should be Eric Spolstra, but Steve Kerr embarrassed that dude, and that's a disgrace what he did to that guy. Because I'm not going to sit here and, and, and I don't shed tears for Tatum, but you don't play him a second of that game, not a second. And you're playing Durant, LeBron, uh, Aunt Edwards, Embiid, Bam Adebayo. I, I mean, the list, Devin Booker. Is Devin Booker better than Jason Tatum? No. Is Drew Holiday better than Jason Tatum? No. Is Derek White better than Jason Tatum? No. No. They're They're not. This man is sitting on the bench as a three-time three, three time in a row all-NBA player. Steve Kerr embarrassed that dude. It's a disgrace what he did. And I know it's not, it's not the topic that people care to hear about or whatever, but that, that's just a joke. I, I don't think that Jason, Jason Tatum has ever been benched in his life. For that to happen in the freaking Olympics, in a game they won by four touchdowns, that's crazy, man. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Leave a comment. Like, subscribe, and follow, and ring that bell. Come on now.